Hello everyone, I am Steve Jobs, the founder and CEO of Apple. Today, I am presenting this bibliography lesson. This lesson will demonstrate to you the need to properly cite work of others incorporated into their reports or presentations. It will detail how to create bibliographies with proper citations for the primary types of references middle students will use for projects such as text-based reports or multimedia projects and presentations. You will also learn the process for using web graphics and properly citing their web address. An easy-to-use freeware application will also be introduced. We have a general goal for this lesson. Creating proper citations for classroom research projects that include creating trifold brochures, digital quilts of images expressing who you are in images alone, researching and reporting, illustrating, and presenting a multimedia hyperstudio project. This lesson provides information and skills that crosses curriculum areas. The information and skills presented in this lesson help you prepare, research, document, and cite sources for your work in science as you do your annual science projects. It assists you in your work in the language arts framework. Here are the specific objectives. You will learn the value of research and using the work of others to complete your own projects in the proper way to give credit in the form of a proper citation to the author, illustrator, photographer, or researcher from whom you might use work. Also, you will be able to properly cite work used from many sources including traditional materials such as books and newspapers and additionally electronic and web-based research sources. Finally, you will be given all the information necessary to find the necessary details such as web page addresses and image addresses for material they choose to include in your projects. The materials we will need, books, periodicals, newspapers, or other reference sources used computer with word processing and web viewing applications word document student bibliography guidelines so here is what we are going to do what is the concept of bibliographies and reasons for citations well it is a list of sources such as journal articles books and websites that one has used in a research project such a list of sources may also be called references or works cited an annotation is a summary and or evaluation of a source. It is a brief note, usually no longer than two or three sentences, added after a citation in a bibliography to describe or explain the content or message of the work cited or to comment on it. A bibliography in which each source is briefly summarized and or evaluated. An annotation can be helpful to the researcher in evaluating whether the source is relevant to a given topic or line of inquiry. We will use www.citationmachine.net for the rest of the lesson. Now my portion of this lecture is over. Mr. Wade Swift will now take over the rest of this lesson. It has been both an honor and privilege to talk to you today. Have a wonderful day.